All right, Shalom, Israel. Before I get started, I'd like to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Kakwadash, double honors to the elders and apostles, a great millstone. Salutations to the 144,000 and the great multitude of the nation of Israel and those enduring in these latter days through the power of spirit of Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Kakwadash, double honors to the elders and apostles, a great millstone. So let's get right into it. Right, today, today we're going to go into uh, Nahum chapter 2, going into the Hebrew, so Lord willing, uh, this is uh, edifying, and as always, uh, uh, giving all honor and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, while we're kakwadash, let's get right into it, right, Akim, right, now, um, so I left off at uh, Nahum uh, chapter 1. Now, as you can see, part two, or so like it, chapter two, verse one, that is uh, uh, the last verse I read, right? Because the uh, the blue letter has it, as you can see here. Verse one starts off where, uh, where verse two is in the uh, uh, um, in the Safari app, right? So let's continue Nahum chapter two and verse two, right? Like I said, the book of Nahum, right, is is a prophecy against uh, uh, Nineveh, right? But uh, if if you have your uh, spiritual uh, lenses on, you notice similarities, right? Which is why. The prophets always spoke in um, parables, <clears throat> similitudes, dark sentences, right? Because it wasn't always uh, 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 revealed unto them what exactly they were prophesying about. Now the book of Nahum, as I brought up in uh, chapter 1, chapter 1 lesson, that the history uh, 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 of uh, Nahum was him prophesying during the downfall of the uh, uh, Assyrian uh, Empire, right? Uh, now, like I said, right, uh, Assyria is not always just a place, right? It's referencing a people, right? Abraham, right, uh, came out of, uh, uh, sometimes it says, the, Cap the Cap land of the Chaldeans, Mesopotamia, right? But even in the law, right? One of the vows in the law, the vow of the first fruits, says what? Our father was in Assyrian, right? That word for Assyrian is Aram, right? So when you read these things, it's referencing that landmass, right? It's written sometimes in uh, different uh, different ways, right? Chaldea, etc., etc., right? But anyways, this is what. Uh, Prophet Nahum uh, spoke about Nineveh, right? Which is, uh, let's see if we can get that in the map. Nineveh Bible map. Right, like I said, it's that la same landmass, right? Babylon's here to the south. Haran. A Asher, right, um, Megiddo, Assyria, right, Nineveh, Babylonia, right, which is modern day Iraq, right, you have, uh, um, because you got to keep in mind, right, you have, uh, the, the nations today that call themselves by different names. Right. Uh, for example, uh, um, you have India, you have Bangladesh, you have uh, Pakistan. Right. Th those are uh, Elamite states or countries. Right. When you go into the history, right, Iran, which was Persia, right, which was uh, um, right, which is another way to say uh, basically goes back to the Elamites. Right. <laughs> Now these land masses, right, have always um, been assimilated 
uh, its people, right? The Edomites, the uh, Shemites, right? Um, the Shemites, what I mean, the Shemites is uh, you have uh, the five sons of Shem. Those tribes are still in that land, in that uh, uh, part of the earth today, right? Now they call themselves uh, Arabs, right? And sometimes we use the general term Ishmaelite. Right, but there is only one tribe called Ish of the sons of Ishmael, right? But the Medes, the Midianites, were called Ishmaelites in the scripture, right? So it's just another way to say uh, Arab, right? But the point is that uh, um, this is what uh, is referenced in the book of Nahum, right? The fall of the Assyrian Empire, right? Which uh, even Esau, Edom in scripture is compared them to the Assyrian, right? Uh, there's other precepts, actually, we can go into that, right? Syria or Assyrian, Salakia, typed it in wrong. Isaiah 10 and 5, O Assyrian, the rod of mine inheritance, of mine anger, and the staff in their hand is mine indignation. Right? That word for Assyrian is Ashawar. Right? Again, it's, it's referencing that, that uh, landmass. Right? Um... And again, uh, these these are the the uh, an old uh, nemesis, one of the old uh, one of the very very old enemies of Israel, right? Um. So it says is Isaiah ten, and um, Isaiah ten and twelve. Wherefore it shall come to pass that when the Lord hath performed His whole work. So like here. Let me turn on this uh do not disturb. Satan is trying to hinder the lesson. Wherefore, Isaiah ten and twelve, wherefore it shall come to pass that when the Lord hath performed his old work upon Mount Zion, and on Jerusalem I will punish the fruit of the stout heart of the king of Assyria, and the glory of his high looks. And actually, I'm, I'm going to make a lesson on this, so I'm not going to go too deep into it, right? Um, but just off a few of these verses, right? We know it's talking about America, Babylon, the Great, Esau, Edom, right? Now let's look up one more. <clears throat> Isaiah 10 and 24. Therefore, thus saith the Lord of hosts, O my people, the dwell in Zion, be not afraid of the Assyrian. He shall smite thee with a rod, and shall lift up his staff against thee after the manner of Egypt. Right? And that's what Esau is doing, right? He's uh, taking these ancient uh, customs and ways and people and, um, and, and, and gathers them in this one big boiling pot which is called America Babylon the Great right Salakia like Isaiah 52 and 4 for thus saith the Lord God my people went down a poor time into Egypt to sojourn there and the Assyrian oppressed them without cause. Now that's talk. That's not talking about the 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 first Egyptian captivity, right? Because the Egyptians oppressed the Israelites, not the Assyrians, right? And um, and there's always been a bad history uh, between Israel and um, right. And even Abraham, right, was uh, didn't like that that being in that area, right, because it was um, there was the astrologers, stargazers, and things of that sort, right. 
Um, you read about that in the uh, the book of Joshua, right? Let's see if I can just pull it up right here. Then even when Jacob was uh, was uh, given a command to go take a wife out of his people, a wife out of his people, right? Uh, meaning out of the line of Shem, right? Which is uh, Laban, uh, which was uh, uh, um, which was uh, um, uh, Rachel and Leah's father, right? He attempted to oppress Jacob. Abraham had issues with them, right? Um, they've always been they they've been at war with each other. You read about that in the First Kings, Second Kings accounts, the uh, um, the Chronicles, First uh, Samuel, Second Samuel, right? Even in the Maccabees, right? Uh, or or Salakia. yeah, in the Maccabees in the Book of Isaiah, Sennacherib and and other right other accounts but anyways let's go back to uh the lesson at hand right let me get that in the book of joshua i believe that's uh joshua Joshua 24 and 2, Joshua said unto all the people, Thus saith the Lord, the God of Israel, Your fathers had dwelt on the other side of the flood in old time, even Terah, the father of Abraham, and the father of Nahor, and they served other gods. And I took your father Abraham from the other side of the flood, and led him throughout all the land of Canaan, and multiplied his seed, and gave him Isaac. Right, let's get one more. This one I'm going to have to look up. Cause I believe it's in, it's in the uh, book of uh, Judith. Just for uh, time's sake. Book of Judith. Lock it. Bear with me. Judith chapter 5 and verse uh, verse 6 this people are descended of the Chaldeans that's just another way to say Babylonian or, or uh, Mesopotamian and they sojourned here for Mesopotamia because they would not follow the gods of their fathers which were in the land of Chaldea for they left the way of their ancestors and worshipped the God of heaven, the God whom they knew. So they cast them out from the face of their gods, and they fled into Mesopotamia and sojourned there many days. Right? Um, that's, uh, that's pretty much it for now. I'm going to go into a, a lesson on that. Um, Lord willing, um, so let's get back to the, um, Nahum chapter two, verse two, right? He has ascended up the scatterer, uh, even before thee, um, so it says, keep guard. So like, yeah, let me go to the blue letter, cause. Let 
Nahum chapter 2. Nahum chapter 2 and verse 1. Right, so as the sinner of the scatterer, even before thee, keep guard. Right, which is that word not Tazar. Sometimes you read it as Natar. Right? <clears throat> which sounds like the word uh, Shatar, the word for uh, officer. Right? Basically, right, a guard. Right, so keep guard. Ah, uh, the uh, the fortress or munition. Uh, watch in the way. Make strong, the the loins, to strengthen, exceed uh, uh to to strengthen. Uh, thy power exceedingly, right. Which is Ayla Ma Payataza Al Panyaka Nat Natazar Ma Tazara Tazapa Darak Hazak Matanayum Amataza Kah Maad Right, because that word Payataza it means to scatter. So it would say it's ascended up the scatterer uh, upon before thee, right? Which is why I said even before thee, right? So it just flows most more smoothly that way, right? Guard the fortress, watch in the way. Tazapa means to watch, right? Um, verse uh, three. Now, what is that talking about, right? The scatterer. When was uh, uh, Israel scattered as a whole? 70 AD, right? Uh, um, which is uh, in the next verse, Nahum 2 and 3, it says, Because I turned back the Lord unto the uh, pride of Jacob, according to to the pride of Israel, because um, surely they are poured out and pruned, and they are pruned, and have pruned them the destroyer. Right. A way, another way to say prune is to uh, cut off. Right. When you prune a plant, you're just cutting off the the uh, certain branches. Right? Why does it men mention Jacob and Israel? It's talking about the uh, two kingdoms. Right? The Lord turning back the excellency of, uh, of, of Jacob. Right? 70 AD. Right? And then, right, in the next verse, it's fast forwarding to what Esau did after he came back into prominence. After the uh, uh, 1500s, right during the time of the Renaissance, right when he got to the uh, coast of the Americas, Christopher Columbus, right, the, uh, the 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 conquistadors, right, which raped, pillaged, and and uh, and um, destroyed these uh, uh, these uh, northern kingdom uh, uh, empires. And brought Jake, the uh, the southern kingdom, into uh, captivity from the interior interiors of West Africa. <clears throat> That's what the next verse is talking about: westward expansion, right? Which Esau calls it manifest destiny. Now I have a lesson going into uh, the history, so I'm not going to necessarily go too much into that. But this is fast forwarding to that time, Esau's rise. Right, as a as a um as a scoundrel that would uh come to the uh, to the Americas and um and uh do his uh, pillaging and destroying, which the Lord gave him the that power that that um, permission to do that, right? 
because uh, Israel was going the hell off, right? Which is why we were cast out of our land, right? The Lord said we sacrifice under every green tree, right? So it says, Kaya Shab Yahawa Atha Ka'an Ka'an Yaikwab Ka Ka'an Yasha Allah Kaya Bakwak Bakwak Ma Bakwak Yum Wazamar Yaham Shechathwa. The word Ka'a means pride, or loftiness, right? Bakwak means a. Uh, um, uh, to empty out, right? For example, you pour liquid from a bottle, it make, makes that sound. Right? Um, and some more meaning to prune. Right? This is what happened when Israel was, uh, right? The Lord uh, scattered, the Lord... Uh, cast away the north the northern kingdom right and then the southern kingdom right he's turned back the excellency of uh jacob right and who ravaged their branches the assyria the assyrians right because that's where they went the, the northern kingdom into the syrian captivity right there you have it again right this is what people don't they don't understand when you read various these various terms, it's referencing the same people in area, right? Assyria, right? Which the cap that captivity was from 858 uh, was in uh, 858 BC. Then the southern kingdom went into the um, Babylonian captivity 600 BC, right? Daniel seven and four. Right? Assyrian captivity. These are the, the those that laid them waste, ravaged the branches. Esau, right? These are uh, the Assyrians, so called. Which is why it says uh, in Psalms 83 the Asher is joined with them. Because these tribes are still here today, right? They're still doing their. Uh, um, their uh their 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 witchcraft their uh their stargazing right all all of that right it's not and it's not just them it's 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 the other nations too ham right ham and um um what do you call it uh ham elam moab ammon all the all 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 the other nations they're into that uh it's, uh, seeking right spirits and uh, uh, conjuring up spirits and right listening to the wind and all kinds of folly right they all have that that uh their uh, um they their the their um devilish practices right um. Uh, which is why it says here in verse 3, they have laid them waste, ravaged their branches. Right? Let's talk about the Esau, the other nations. Right? Nahum 2 and 4. Now this is fast forwarding to when, right, Christopher Cologne, Columbus came to the Americas. And when the uh, southern, the uh, northern kingdom, right, started getting slaughtered by the Spaniards and the Native Americans being slaughtered All right Nahum 2 and 4 the shield of his warriors are red right and that's spiritual because right the Rothschilds right that's what Rothschild means it means a um, red shield right and it's not a coincidence, right? Esau gets his cues from the from the Bible, right? Because the spiritual demon Satan, right, it gives him the uh, the play by play, right? 
So it says, the shield of his mighty men is red. The men of might are uh, clothed in crimson, which is Magan Gabar Yawa, Ma Adam Anashia, Anashia Chayel, Ma Matalayim, which the lie means a uh, worm, but it means uh, crimson. Because that's where you get the crimson color from. From a uh, special kind of worm, right? Which is for another lesson. Um, so it says, ba Ba'ash, or Salakia, um, upon fire, uh, torches are his chariots. In the day which they are prepared and the fig trees or the cypress w and the cypress trees are uh, quivered right that word rael means to quiver don't confuse it with ra'ad ra or ra'ash meaning to shake right but it's similar right so it says ba'ash paladath right the word palad means uh, like a torch Sometimes you'll read Palad or pal Paliad. Uh, so it says, Ba'ash Paladath Ha Rakab Bayawam Ha Kayanwa Waha Barash Barashium Ha Ra'al Ra'alwa. This is talking about Esau, right? Bringing his chariots, which uh, they were called uh, wagons, right, with his with his torches and right, him moving 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 on moving in moving on, or like, yeah, moving in on the Gadites, on the uh, northern kingdom, right, because they had their uh, their their, their uh, wagons to travel, right, they had uh, their torches, right. And not only did he ravage the uh, southern kingdom or the northern kingdom, right? He also, right, chopped down uh, many trees, right? Which here it's translated as cypress wood are poisoned or the arrows, right? It says nothing about arrows, right? It's talking about Esau coming to the Americas and destroying, right? Nahum chapter 2 and verse 5. In the streets there is a um, there is a glistening of the chariots uh, eagerly in the meadows they are seen. Like torches, like the thunder, they run. So it says, uh, Ba Chetazawath, Ba Chawatazath, Yatha. Halawa ha rakab yasha taqwa taqwash kwan ba rakhabath ma ra'a yahan kalapayadium kabrakium ya rataza tazawa right cuz that word halal means to praise but it also means um Right, um, like a light, like a glistening light, right? <laughs> or something that is um, commendable, right? And this this is what happened, right? Esau went into uh, kill mode, right? 
there's an account where Christopher Columbus said that, right, my sword did not stop slaying, right? I kept slaying and slaying and slaying and killing. So this is what what uh, their their wagons did, right? He, they they went throughout. And they started uh, killing. In the meadows, wherever the case, right? They saw, right, a gadite there. They went and started slicing, right. And the Gadites, uh, the, the the Northern Kingdom, they never seen right those type of uh, uh, the, the wagons, right? All they saw was their the torches on the wagons, and they thought it was uh, they were amazed, right? <clears throat> Which is why it says, uh, um, Yesha the Quash Quan. Because the root word is quash, 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 which is, um, it means, um, not only does it mean leg, but it means to, uh, to um, pursue something, right? So this is, this is what was happening, right? Nahum 2 and 6, he had remembered his honorable ones, they, they stumble in their going, they hasten uh, to her wall, and he has prepared a, uh, a, um, a, a refuge or a shelter. Right? It says nothing about a wheel. I don't know where where the safari got that from. Right? Yazakar Adyar Yawa Yakashalwa Bahal Yak Thum Yamaharwa Hamatha Waha Wahakan Ha Sakak Ha Sakak Right? Adyar means uh, someone that is honorable. What is that talking about? The uh, uh, the the remnant, right? Starting with our elders, right? That that uh, that came into this thing, right? The leaders, the heads, right? Starting with Elder Apostle Tahar and on down, right? Uh, one twenty fifth Street, Harlem, New York, right? Truth coming out of one west, right? And the others, we they never had it right. The prophets never had it 100% revealed, right? The prophets of old, I mean, right? Even Yahweh Shai said in Acts chapter 1 that it is not given to you to know the time or the seasons, right? So you have, right, other people say, well, well, you all had a prophecy that that the the earth was going to end in 2000 right and that's where that uh uh the precept that other apostle recently brought out uh that the, the time cometh uh the night time cometh when one cannot work when they used to say uh that that was the the 2000 prophecy that the world will end in uh, the year 2000 and many fell off because of that but that's because the lord said we would not have it perfectly right away right um so that's that's what it's talking about right it's talking about the the leaders they would stumble right and they're going right but now our our elders and apostles of Great Millstone, they have, they have, uh, uh, it's all there, right? The body of work is there, right? And we don't go above our elders, right? Whatever they say, right? Uh, um, our job 
is to uh, is to continue in the doctrine and um, and again we gotta search these things whether they be so, right? <laughs> Just like it, it, it makes no difference if we went to if we went to IUIC to borrow, we would be we would do the same thing, right? And there's nobody rebuking GMS because we're not going off. Ain't that ain't that some shit? But IUIC, right? ISUPK, right? Sakari is on point for the most part, but even their the revelation breakdowns are they're a little off, right? So they will hasten to the wall. A wall is a defense, right? Who has prepared the refuge, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, right? In this word, those that have been have, have been given, right, uh, a clear understanding, right, to understand, right, the uh, biblical breakdowns, right, to be able to expound on the on the word, right. To be able to uh, properly break down, right, the prophetic uh, visions of old. That's that's what it's talking about, right? It's not talking about speaking your own mind, right, and saying what you want to say, right? That's not, you're not allowed to do that, right? You're not allowed, you can't just... Open the book and just break down whatever the hell you want to break down. Right? That's not how it works. But anyways, let's get back to the um, lesson at hand. Right? Um, so let's get back to it. Right? So like it. Anyways, bear with me. Nahum chapter 2 and verse 7. The gates of the rivers are open. And the palace and the palace melteth. Shayarya ha naharath napathakwa waha hayakal namawag. Right, uh, because that word bawag means um uh to uh waste away, to melt. Right? The gates of the rivers is this this word going out. Flooding the earth, the knowledge of the Lord flooding the earth, like it says in the book of Habakkuk. Right? The temple melteth, the palace, right? Like you see in that uh, movie Independence Day, that's that's what's going to happen. Right? That, uh, that, that giant chariot, and, uh, and, right, it's going to um, destroy many parts of America, Babylon, Greek, all of it, actually, right? that the missiles right the um the excellency of uh america babylon the great being done away with that's exactly um what it's talking about right nahum chapter 2 and verse 8 and he that standeth is exiled Uh, that is, um, is brought up, right? Waha Tazab Galata Ha Ailata. It's talking about he that stands, uh, um, that is preaching his word, right? We're we're a nation in exile, right? Ascending up in his knowledge, right?
and it says, and her handmaidens are, are uh, driven like the voice of a dove. Right? Matthew chapter 25 says what? There would be five wise virgins, five foolish. So it says, Wa, Wa Ama Taya, Ma Nahagath, Kakwal, Yawanayim. Right? The dove always represented uh, what? Um, the Holy Spirit, Rakakodash. Right, you read about that in the account of Yahweh Shai getting baptized, right? By uh, um, by John the Baptist, right? That dove descending uh, from the heavens, right? Sometimes it's a uh, it's a flame, right? But that's what it's talking about, right? Her hand meanings are led according to the voice of the dove. That's just a way to say, uh, to speak about the um, the remnant, right? Being led by, by this word, being guided in these latter days. It says, uh, harping upon their their uh, their breast or their heart. Mathapath al. La Bab Han Because that the harp that harp is a is is an instrument just like this word, right? We can't just say speak la 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 right? No, we have to give a distinct sound, distinct uh doctrine. The Yahweh I said the doctrine is not of of me, but it's of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai of the Father. Right, that's that's uh, synonymous with those singing that new song, right? Which we're not actually singing, but we're using our voice to lead, right? Uh, the rest of those that would come into this truth, right? That would receive the words, the word of the Lord, right? Nahum chapter two and verse nine. And Nineveh is like a pool of water from the days that is, as in the earliest times, right? Wa nawa ka barakath mayam ma yamya haya. And it says, and they, and they flee. Standing, standing, and and none can uh, turn them. And that's what we're we're saying, right? We're saying flee uh, the ways of America, Babylon the Great, not actually fleeing, right? Which is why the uh, uh, the Apostle Paul said, "What touch no unclean thing," right? Flee out of the midst of her. The book of Micah says, uh, um, flee the land of the north. Not literally, but the, the spiritually, right? So this is what the remnant are saying, right? We're fleeing the shadow of this world, like it says in the book of uh, Second Ezra. Right? Th those that have fulfilled the law of the Lord, Right? Which is more than just the uh, carnal aspects, right? There was a direction given, a warning uh, that has to be given out. So it says, Wahama Nasium Aimadwa Amadwa. So it says, And they flee, and they fleeing, as in fleeing the ways of this world, right? Stand, they stand. Right? Because we're standing and preaching the word. Right? Taking a stand. Right? 
literally and figuratively. And none turneth, right? None turneth, turneth them. As in, right, if you were, right, destined from the foundation of the world, the Lord is not, right, Satan's not going to be able to pluck you out of the Lord's hand. Right? There are those that are going to speak, right, the 100% uh, truth. Right? If you're of the elect, you're you're not you're not going to uh, pervert the gospel, right? Nahum chapter two and verse ten. Spoil of silver, spoil of gold, and there's no end to her treasures. Bazwa kasab, bazwa zahab, wa ayan kwataza. Latha Kawana Let's go to the uh, blue letter Salakia. So it says uh, kabad, meaning uh, the glory of all the instruments that are precious. And what is America Babylon the Great known as? The glory of the of the kingdoms, right? And that's why you have these other nations coming here, right? They don't come here because they want to make Babylon the Great great again. America Babylon the Great 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 again. Right? No. They're 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 here to feed themselves. Right? And they already done that's already done. It's already been America's been leached at, right? And now the other nations, right, they're establishing their uh, their according to their agendas. But the Lord made it that way, in order to buy time for the elect to be uh, to be to be nourished for a time and a time and a dividing time. And that time's coming to an end, right? You 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 have famine is coming, the third woe, the karagma, the famine of the word, right? So you got to get it while it's still hot, right? So it says kabar makal. Kalya Hamada, meaning the the glory of all the instruments that are precious, and this is uh, this is what America Babylon the Great um, used to produce, all precious things until right. Uh, there started being a production of of their of things outside, manufacturing being moved outside America Babylon the Great. Or cost effectiveness. Nahum chapter 2 and verse 11. There is a pouring out and voidness and devastation, and the heart melteth, and and the, the knees buckle, and sickness is in all loins and faces of all of them are gathered are gathered um, and turned to um, embarrassment right because that word par means comeliness means uh, redness or right when you see a Jake is healthy he's, he looks kind of like red ruddy that's what um, that's what uh, King David was described as, being ruddy. Not ready, red, red, ruddy, R-U-D-D-Y. Um, which is why it says, uh, so let me just read it. Bakwa, wama bakwa, 
Wama Balakwa. The word Balak means devastation. Walab Namas. Namas means to melt. Um, Wapak Barakium. The word Pak means to produce. But it just means um, the knees, uh, right? They are. Uh, they smite each other, right? As in the knees touch, right? When you're shaking sometimes, right? Your the knees are gonna touch or buckle, right? Wapak barakium, wakal chala, bakal matayim, and sickness is a, is in all loins. Right? Because what's happening in America, Babylon? Great. Uh, now they're selling you 3D printed meat. Right? They're selling you, they're uh, kill, killing you with GMOs. Right? You got forest fires, wildfires. Right? Even the air, you can't even go outside. Right? And breathe some fresh air. All thanks to uh, you goddamn devils. Right? Which is why the Lord is going to destroy you because you're you're you are a, you are a terrible uh, example, right? And you're just wicked, right? And the face of all of them is gathered. Wapanya kalam, wabatazawa, paar paar paarar. Right? What's that talking about? All faces are going to be ashamed when they see that we were speaking the truth. They're going to be ashamed when they find out that this thing is real. Right? When the Lord starts, when the Lord intervenes. Right? And our job is not, we're not on the Most High's time. Right? He's not our personal genie. Right? We're in a situation where we have to get out of it. The Lord said, to get out, to flee, right? When you persecute in one city, flee to the next. As simple as that, right? Most High is not our personal genie, right? He doesn't work for us; we work for Him, right? That's what it's talking about, right? And all, and even two thirds, you're going to be ashamed when the when you find out that the Lord is going to is going to uh, perform His work. He's going to deliver us, right? Nahum chapter two and verse twelve. And that's what's coming to America, Babylon, Great desolation, devastation, destruction. The heart's going to melt, right? You're going to have the chariots come back, and you you're going to see literally. Right, people are gonna be shitting themselves. They're gonna, right? Some of them might have heart attacks. Right? It's not gonna be a pretty sight. Nahum two and twelve. See how many more precepts we got left. Nahum two and twelve. Where is the the uh, dwelling of the lion? In the pasture that is. Let's lock it. Let's go to the blue letter. Nahum 2 and 11. Where is the dwelling of the lion? In the feeding place that is of the young lions. Aya ma awan. Arya wa ma raya hawa la kaparium. Uh, which go, which, in which goes the lion? Um, even the old lion was there. Ashar halak arya la bayaa shum. The whelp of the lion, gawar arya, as in baby lions, right? 
and there is none to shake them or to make them afraid. Wa ayan ma horyad That's talking about what? Um Jake, right? The Jake is that lion, right? Even when he's going off, right? You go to particular areas, right? Bad areas, right? Uh or areas that, that with there's a, a heavy right um heavy crime, you know, Jake Jake is there, you know, doing his thing. Right? The feeding place of the young lions. Esau is a young li the young lion. Right? Because he's not he's he's not as he's not as strong as Jake, but he has his uh police force and things of that sort. Right? His task forces and right surveillance systems. He feeds on Jake in those areas, right? Which is why you have the court systems, right? It's all made, it's all made designed for profit. Where the lion, even the old lion walked. Jake, old and young, is there. The lion's whelp, right? These little baby jakes that, that grow up and they become demons, right? And none made them afraid, right? Because Jake nowadays, right? He's he's not afraid to to, uh, to blow your head off, right? Nahum chapter 2 and verse 12. The lion did tear in sufficiency... Uh, for his whelps, right? Let's talk about Jake in the world, being a demon, right? He's got a, he's got his his uh his baby mama yelling at him, right? So he has to go get it, go get something, right? So he does it right by any means, right? Arya Tarap Ba Daya Garathiwa. And strangled for his lioness. Boma Chadak La Labaath Yawa. That word Chadak meaning to choke. Right? And that's what Jake would do. Jake, Jake, would, Jake would kill you if you look at his, like, his, his woman the wrong way. So this is just talking about Jake being in the world and in the latter days and going the hell off, right? And he filled with prey his holes, his holes with prey, right? Waya malaa to wrap. It means to tear, but it's also another way to say prey. Haryawa, because that word uh. Let's look at that word, Hawar, Strong's H 2356, a cavity, a socket, a dead, a cave, a hole, a hole of a window, right? Or the hole of a bullet, right? And his dens with with uh, the prey. Wama ainatiwa tarapa. Right. You got things that are called uh, trap houses, and right. Or you got his fiends, right. Fiends all over there, and right. That's how Jake, right, gets his uh. Gets his daily bread, on the left hand side. Nahum chapter 2 and verse 13 Behold I am unto thee 
saith the Lord of hosts. Now this is going back to uh, talking about Esau. Behold, I am unto thee, saith the Lord of hosts. Hanaya al na'am Yahweh tazabobwath. And I will consume upon smoke uh, her chariots. Waha Bayar Bayar Taya Ba Aishan Rakaba. It's talking about the Lord raining fire and brimstone upon America, Babylon, Great. Um. And your young lions shall be consumed by the sword. Wa kapiyar yaka ta'akal harab. The young lions are these other Edomites that are going to go into the uh, draft, into the wars. These other Edomites that are going to right, be in the other parts of the world when the third world kicks off after the Lord destroys America, Babylon, the Great. They're going to be consumed by the sword. Right? And I will cut off from the earth your prey. Waha karathya ma rataza tarabka. The Lord is going to cut off the prey. Esau's prey is the Israelites, the so called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. Because two thirds are going to take the chip, they're going to eat a missile, and the remnant are going to be delivered. Right? And will not be heard anymore. Uh and it will not be and they will not be heard anymore or again the voice of your messengers. Wala Yashamai Iwad Kwal Malaaka Malaak Malaak Ka right? The voice of, of Esau Edom's messengers is what? These uh, newscast networks, right? These communication devices, right? Because that's not going to be in effect when the Lord comes back. All these all those things are going to be scrambled, right? There's not going to be time to go on a news station and say, the Lord is coming back, right? There's a saying that, that um, Esau has that the revolution will not be televised. Because it does, it's not going to have to be televised. It's going to be seen by all. Not a revolution, but the return of Yahweh Shai. Hamashayach. Bashem Hamashayach Yahweh Shai. Right? The voice of the messengers, right? Is uh, um, what Esau pushes into the world. All the lies, all the deception, all that is going to be brought low. Right, so with that, this is uh, Nahum chapter 2, going into the Hebrew, this brother Yatazadak, hero of Israel, and as always, Lord willing, you're edified, giving all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem HaRakakwadash, and double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, Kwam Yasha'Allah, Abba Shalom.